So after four years, that's over $375,000 in debt, and that's not even including interest. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to go over the cost of medical school, specifically my tuition and how I am building my budget. So let's get started. So first thing I wanted to cover is my institution. They gave us kind of a rough outline or total budget that they calculated and estimated. So I wanted to compare their budget compared to my budget and see where we can actually cut out some costs to make our debt significantly lower if possible. So the first thing for my institution, the tuition turns out to be $58,900 for one year. Okay. Um, obviously that's not something you can change unless you can get scholarships to reduce that tuition. They also estimated around $1,950 in books and then rent and utilities is around 1540 per month that totals to around 18,000 per year and again rent and utilities will really depend on where you're living your city and the expenses for that city uh, as well as the internet which turned out to be 650 per year you can reduce this cost obviously by living with roommates so you can split the cost of internet in terms of food, they're estimating around $320 per month. And this is really, again, a personal thing, depending on how much you can budget your food and whether you're going to eat out or cook always. And then personal and miscellaneous things, $530 per month. So I think this comes to be anything from, uh, you know, whether you have online subscriptions, whether you're doing something for leisure, phone plan, I guess anything that is included in your personal expenses and then transportation around 319 for, per month so this really depends if you are living in a place where you need your own car and you're having to maybe pay for car insurance maybe you have to pay for you know your gas and other things as associated with your personal car or if you are in a more well-connected let's say city or hub where you have public transportation your cost might be lower than 319 per month so anyways based on my institution's estimation for a single student the total budget for one year should be around 93,996 when we take both the tuition and your personal expenses of living. So if we take that 93,996 and we count that for four years of medical school, ideally we wanna do four years, some people might end up doing more if they squeeze in an MBA or another master's in there. But if we do that for four years, then we come up with $375,984. This is the total amount of student debt that you would end up with after four years of medical school. And this is without the interest that is building up over those four years. So this is just the initial amount that you would borrow in total. Of course, assuming that you are not paying for it out of your own pocket, but that you're taking student loans. So this is my school's estimated total budget, but I started building my own budget and I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I considered and how I was able to actually cut down my costs quite significantly. So some of the things that I consider is one, do I have any monthly income? Two, what is my purely school expenses? So I guess tuition and other things. And then I am taking into consideration personal living expenses that are constant and then personal living expenses that are variable. So let's take a look at my budget and how I built it. Okay, let's get started here. So the first thing is my school starts in July. So I'm doing a 12 month cycle from July to June. And uh, the first category is my monthly income. Do I have any monthly income? Obviously I'm going to input whatever loans I take in. I'm going to input any scholarship that I may have received from my institution or from an outside source. And then any other monetary income that I have like maybe you have an investment income, maybe you have received gifts or anything else. Maybe your parents are helping you pay for your school. So I would input that in there. But for now, I'm going to leave it blank just because, you know, I'm not considering the loans right now and I don't expect to have any monthly income. OK, so if I start with my fixed school expenses, so my tuition, my institution, again, has a tuition of 58,900 for one year. And if I divide that by 12 months, that turns out to be $4,908 per month. So if I spread that out per month, um, the other thing is that my institution is offering health insurance. That's why I've added it as my fixed expenses for my institution. Uh, and that would be around $125 per month that I will have to pay again, going directly to my institution for health insurance. 
And the last thing that I'm considering here is my books and supplies. Now, my institution had it a little bit over, a little bit under $2,000 for books and supplies, but I am going to decrease my budget here and say that I will roughly spend $85 per month on books and supplies. So if I do $85 per month and add that up for 12 months, that comes to around $1,000. And this comes in with books like First Aid or any subscri subscriptions that I might need like Sketchy Medical and UWorld Test Banks, anything like that would be included. But you have to also consider that you will be spreading those resources over you know, your first two years and not just the first year. So I definitely think that my institution overestimated the cost after speaking to some of the current medical students. So just watch out for that because you could potentially cut your costs there. So my total school expenses after one year would be $61,420. Okay, so now let's get started with my fixed personal living expenses. So when I say fixed, I th I'm saying that I presume this cost to be the same every single month. And some of these again are still projected. I am doing an estimation, but in reality, we'll have to wait and see what my first month of school looks like. So for rent, I'm sharing an apartment with two other people and I decided to do this because rent would be cheaper. And again, this depends on your city, but for me, it will turn out to be $740 per month. So again, just for rent for one year, I'll be paying roughly $9,000, which is not too bad. Uh, if I were living alone, my monthly rent would be well over 1,000 per month. So then in terms of internet, again, because I am sharing with two other people, I estimate my internet cost will be around $25 per month. And then my utilities, again, this is an estimation that I made based on speaking to current medical students that have lived there in a similar situation in a three bedroom apartment. And my estimation would be an average of $75 per month for gas and electricity. And my water is covered by the landowner. And in terms of renter's insurance, my flatmates and I also decided to get that just to be safe. And it is not too expensive. It's only about $15 per month. So I'm accounting for that as well. Now phone, I will not be paying for my phone because I've been on a family plan with my parents and so my parents cover that. So I'm grateful that I don't have to take that into consideration, but maybe you might have to. In terms of car insurance, I will need a car where my institution is, but I won't be paying for my car insurance again because I'm on a family plan. So I'm, I'm grateful that my family is going to be covering that cost. And then in terms of fixed per month, I have several subscriptions. Now this is where I could reduce my cost if I really wanted to. Um, my Netflix subscription is around $16 per month. And again, I cover this and uh, I share with my family, but I pay for my subscription. So I could potentially reduce my Netflix cost if I decided to share with my roommates and that way we would split the cost. I also have an Amazon subscription, which is around $10 per month because I pay for a yearly plan. And this right now is more expensive than I would like it to be. But once you become a student, Amazon, Amazon Prime has a student discount. So I assume that that cost will actually go down once I'm a student. I also have Dropbox that I've been using for like all of my undergrad and still continue to use. And this is a subscription of $10 per month. And again, I'm on a yearly plan and I've been using Dropbox for the longest time. And I really love Dropbox because you can basically have it on every single one of your computers, your phone, all of your devices. And it's like an external hard drive, except it's, you don't have to carry it. It's not physical. And all of my things are backed up. Of course I have to pay for it but I find it for me, it's an investment that is well worth it. And then the last subscription that I have is Canva, which I use for my creative projects, like making YouTube thumbnails or PowerPoints or things like that. So I've decided it's a good investment for me and well worth it as well. And again, I can definitely reduce my costs from some of these subscriptions. So watch out for places where you can reduce your costs. So if we look at my fixed expenses just for personal living for one year, that's around $11,000, okay? And now we move on to my variable expenses, variable personal expenses. So groceries, I am estimating per month that I can get by pretty well as long as I don't eat out with around $250 per month. So that's pretty decent. And again, I got this estimate just by speaking with current medical students to see what they were spending. And some people ended up spending significantly higher. So it really depends on the individual and how frugal you are. 
gas, oil, and maintenance for the car. I assume this will also change depending on the month, but I'm giving myself around $50 per month. And the reason for this is I think it will actually be lower than this is because I live, I'm going to be living only about a five minute walk from my institution. So I only assume I'll be using my car when I am, you know, going somewhere for the weekend or going to get groceries. Apart from that, I don't plan on driving around too much. Um, household supplies, this is nice because I'll, I can split the cost with my roommates and this I've given myself a budget of $20 per month. This could be anything from toilet paper to cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Personal care and toiletries, I've also given myself $20 per month and I think this will again vary depending on how much shampoo you need or I don't know how much cologne or perfume or, or whatnot you might need. Dining out, I am trying to keep this as low as possible. So I've given myself $40. That might be a lower estimation. I might end up spending significantly more, but I will try to stick to it. Clothes, same thing. I'm giving myself around, let's see, $40 per month. And again, we'll see how this goes, but I already have so many clothes. I'm trying to be more minimalist now that I'm traveling and I'm realizing I have to carry all of these things with me all over the place. Laundry and dry cleaning. I have a have laundry in our apartment, so I don't have to pay to go and do laundry anywhere. Dry cleaning might be an occasional special cost that I might have to use for a suit or something, but I haven't included it in here. Parking also will be zero for me because my apartment will have free parking. And then at our institution, we also receive free parking or it's, it's already built into our tuition. In terms of entertainment, I have put zero dollars because I think of entertainment as like all of my Amazon or Netflix subscriptions. So it really depends on what you consider as entertainment. And then I have given myself a hundred dollars per month for travel or vacation. And so maybe this might be my entertainment in a way. And um, this can also account for going to visit family back home and stuff like that. And then any other expenses that you might end up with at the end of the month. So you can see that uh, at the end, my, my variable personal expenses are around 6,240. So then what I did is I combined my variable expenses and my fixed expenses, and it turns out that per month, my total living expense just to live is around $1,400, which is pretty decent, I would say, uh, after speaking some of the current medical students, it's a pretty good average on what people are also spending. So just for my living expenses for one year, that's $17,000, okay? So now, I have looked at all of my, you know, monthly income, my school expenses, and then my personal living expenses. So if we go back and look at what the institution estimated versus what my estimates are. So for one year, the institution estimated 93,996, whereas my estimate, right, if I combine everything, if I combine my school expense and my personal living expenses is 78,472. So for four years, the school estimates 375,000, whereas I estimate 313,000. And again, that's a pretty big Big difference for one year that's a fifteen thousand dollar difference and for four years that's sixty two thousand dollar difference so when you're thinking about taking loans and, and having student debt this is a huge difference so don't just rely on the the budget that your medical school gives you make sure you build your own budget make sure that you are minimizing your costs and yeah so that is my budget and again then you know once you have calculated out your total cost you know that hey maybe i will need to take out seventy-eight thousand worth of loans that you can then input here into your monthly income and um, subtract out the tuition that you will pay for and then you will have left over your spending money for personal living expenses so there you have it guys, that is how I built my personal budget. I will leave a template of this budget on my blog. So if you want to access it and download it, you can just check the link below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.